Workout Wednesday 2020, week three. Can you visualize time in a unique way? Now let's have a look at the challenge itself. So what we want to do is we want to visualize the orders by time and by day, and which days or weekdays should we plan for extra support staff to process the orders? So we're gonna start from scratch here on a brand new workbook. So we're gonna to connect to our data, which is Superstore Sales, but then we're gonna add a new data source, which is our order times. So if I go into the data source pane, click add, we want another Excel file where I can grab my order times. Tableau should automatically connect those two together based on the common field, which is order ID. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to look at the um, months in a small multiple. Now I said no hard coding and no um, table calculations. So the first thing that we can do is if we drag order dates here, we can change that to quarter. So now we have all of our quarters there. But now how do we get each of these individual months in here as individual rows, individual columns, sorry. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a calculated field, which is called columns. And what we need to do here is we need to get bring back the month of our order date. So this is going to bring back the number of our order dates here. Now, if I just click OK, it's going to go down here. We want to change this to discrete and move and change it to a dimension, sorry, and then move it up into the columns. So you can see what's happening with each step of the calculation. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we need to be able to group them into one two, three, and four, or zero to three, as Tableau would like it. So if we edit this, what we want to do is we want to do minus one on that. And then we want to be able to use this modular, which looks at if it's uh, divisible by a certain number. So if we divide it by three and hit apply, you'll see that the, we get our um, columns for each of our months and January, February, March in Q1, April, May, June in Q2 and so on and so forth. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we can we can keep month on there onto detail and we need to plot our day of order date. So if I right click and drag order date in and change this to day, we now have all of our individual days across here and then we now need to create our date field, which includes time of order and order date. So I'm gonna change this to date time. Now, if I show you what that's done, previously it was, if I change it back to a string, um, you'll see that this is just a date a time field from AM all the way through to PM. Now, if I change this to a date time field, you'll be able to see that it automatically puts it as uh, 001, 01, 01, and then with the time next to it. But what we want to do is we want to merge the order date and the time of order together so that we have our official order date and then the time of order. So if I create a new calculated field and go order time. Now we can look at our date um, calculations in here and we should have one which is called date uh, da, da, da. Um, it's not under there, it's the conversion. So you want make date time. So if I double click that, it'll bring it in. Now we want our order date in here and then our time of order in there. 
Now, when we bring that in, we now have our exact order date and our time based on the two individual fields. So that's great. We now have our field that we want, but all I really want is the hours down here. So what we can do is if we right click on order time, uh, create custom date, and you want to change this to hours and you want the date value. Uh, sorry, you don't want the date value. Uh, you want the date part. So it'll bring back just the number that we want. So now we can start to build our chart. So if I drag that in, you'll be able to see that it's discrete um, in individual categories, but actually we want that as continuous so that we have our nice axes. And again, we just want to reverse this so that it time runs downwards. So now we have that, which is great. We can go back to our original sheet and if I change this to uh, continuous in there first, and now if I drag that in, you'll be able to see that we were getting somewhere along our um, time. So if I edit this and again, just reverse it. So we've got our time down the sides um, and we have all of these individual points down here. So first thing we do is we change it to a line and it goes like this. Well, what have we done? We've broke it, but we haven't. So all you need to do is we need to find the correct um, thing to put on path so that we can create this distinction between the lines. So we can put um, day of order date, but that is not the right one. And we can put order time on there. So it'll break it down into those individual order days. So this is odd day as we go through it. Now as you can see you can get the circles where we've got data. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so we can see it and reduce the uh, colour of them. So now you can see every time you hover over you get a different point. So what I want is I want to be able to colour those points by order ID. First thing I'm going to do is actually filter to the latest year so that we only have one year of data in here. So as you can see that makes it a little bit different in terms of our plotting. But what we can do is if I duplicate this order time and on this second one what we need to do is we need to add the count distinct of order ID onto our uh, mark and then also um, control and add that onto colour as well. So we have two individual um, sets on our, we have the colour, so I'm just going to change this back to 100% and change the colour to orange, hit apply, and then what we're going to do is we're going to dual axis this, we're going to synchronise and we are going to take this off of path and it breaks like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change this to circles instead. So now you can see we've got all the circles and we can play around with the sizes so that our line just covers the width of the um, circles. And now from here, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to switch between day and the weekday. So if I show you that on here, we get our Sunday, Monday, Sunday to Saturday, but then we also want to be able to do by day. Now, what I would do here is I would duplicate this and I would change this one to be weekday. So we have that there. We're just going to format this so that it is uh, abbreviation and make sure that it is wrote the correct way for reading. Now, as you can see, the sizes go a little bit wonky, so we can reduce those down so that we get a bit more, uh, a bit easier on the eye. Now, I'm going to create a parameter which looks at the 
uh, which one we want to look at. So we either want days or weekdays. Okay, and then we're going to create a calculated field. Um, I'm going to call this sheet swap. And then if uh, the date parameter equals days, then D else um, W, which is weekday. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, and that will not work because I didn't finish it off with an end. Hit OK and OK again. So now that works, or it's pushed it up to up here. And I want to go back to my sheet one, which is days. And I'm just going to label these so it's easier to figure out. So days, if we drag our sheet swap onto the filters and hit D. Now, when I show this parameter control, I'm going to switch it over and it breaks because it doesn't know we've selected weekdays. Now we're going to go onto our weekday sheet, put sheet swap on here and tick W. Hit OK. Now the final step here would be to build the dashboard. So 1200 by 800 and we're going to go for a horizontal container. Make sure you drag that in first. Drag in our days, drag in our weekdays, and then we're going to hide the titles of these because Tableau will automatically collapse down the sheet that isn't there. So I'm going to hide that and hide that and also hide this. So with a bit of extra formatting, you'll eventually get to the final outcome. But now all we need to do is we move our um, parameter up there, put our dashboard title in and we can format it a little bit better and make this a compact list. So now whenever we switch, you'll be able to see the difference between days and weekdays, depending on which one you want to look at. The final setup is just formatting and making sure everything matches up tooltips and um, the titles and formatting. Thank you. That is all for this week. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet me or feel free to post on the Tableau forums. Thank you.